personal finance practice problem using Excel. Get ready to get financially fit by practicing personal finance. Here we are in our Excel worksheet. If you don't have access to the Excel worksheet, that's okay because we'll basically build this from scratch. We got three tabs down below, an example tab, a practice tab, and a blank tab. The example tab, in essence, being an answer key. Let's take a look at it now. We've got the information on the left-hand side, calculations in the blue on the right-hand side, and down below, we're looking at automobile insurance or car insurance, imagining an accident happening and what the possible insurance payout might be. The second tab, the blue tab, it represents a tab with the pre-formatted worksheets so you can work through the practice problem with less Excel formatting. The third tab, the one we're gonna work on, is basically working the problem from scratch. If you don't have this and you wanna just build it from a blank sheet in Excel or some electronic spreadsheet, I would start off by selecting the whole sheet, right-clicking on it, format the cells first, go to currency, brackets, get rid of the dollar sign, get rid of the decimals. That's where I start with at least. I'm not gonna do it to this sheet, but that's what I would start off with if you don't have the sheet. And then add your data on the left-hand side like so. I do recommend doing this, especially with the numbers, because you want to be able to be drawing from something, a data set. That's just good practice. And then we got a skinny C column, and that's it. Then we're ready to go. So we're going to say we have insurance, uh, auto insurance or car insurance. We've got the 80, 160, 90. These three numbers are often part of the complication, so we'll have to get into that. We got three people awarded injuries in an accident in which you were at fault. So we're going to say we got in an accident. We were at fault in the accident. Now remember, the car insurance represents multiple kinds of insurance because when we think about insurance, we usually think about things like liability insurance or property insurance and stuff like that. And we're kind of combining this under auto insurance. So these are all different kinds of insurances that are under like the act of driving or that could fall under, you know, driving or related to the car in some way. So we've got multiple different kinds of insurance. We're kind of concerned here with liability insurance generally, and that's the kind of insurance we're often required to have to some degree, depending on the states uh, that we are in. So if we're at fault for the accident, if we were not at fault for the accident, hopefully the other person has insurance and hopefully that would be, you know, they would be liable. If we are at fault, then we're gonna end up being liable and hopefully our insurance uh, will help us out and kick in at that point. So we've got the 80, 160, and 90. We got down here a little blurb, tells us what that means. The first number represents a bodily injury per person. So we're talking bodily injury, not property damage, which is usually the more costly item or could be possibly, potentially could have more cost. The second number represents bodily injury per occurrence, meaning we've got so much per person for bodily injury, but it's gonna be capped if you've got multiple people at some point. And the last number represents property damage per occurrence. So we're talking still kind of liability insurance on both sides, but one's for bodily injury and the other's for the property. So these two represent the bodily injury one, the last one, uh, the property one. So that's the idea. So we're gonna go down here. Let's kind of recap these three, three numbers too first. <laughs> so let's call the first one. This is gonna be the, the max per person max per person injured so this is the bodily injury max per person meaning that 80 means 80,000 so there's 80,000 coverage for that one so you could think about these in thousands right so the next one is going to be the max per uh, accident or event uh, for injury injury so we're talking injury, not property damage here. So we're gonna say this is gonna be the 160,000. And then we've got the property damage, property damage liability, which we're not really focused in right now because we're talking about bodily injury, but that would be the 90,000 for like the damage to the car and whatnot. So I'm gonna select this one and go to the home tab and we're gonna to go to the font group. Let's put some borders around that and let's make it blue border blue okay so now that we have that we can we could do our calculations so i could say okay well if there were three people injured and they were all awarded one hundred forty thousand, let's do our, our calculation in kind of a systematic way we could kind of shortcut it for certain problems 
but let's try to set it up and think it out logically. We're going to say, all right, we've got the injuries per person, per person, and let's put the actual here, actual, and then the max, and then the lesser of, see, lesser of the two. So that's going to be our headers. I'm going to make these three centered, going to go to the home tab alignment and center it. And then I'm going to make all of these black and white as has been our custom. We're going to go to the home tab font group and hit the bucket up top and make it black and white, black and white. So there we have it. So I'm just going to say person one, person one, and then person, person two and person three were all injured and they were all awarded we're saying 140 which i'm going to draw from my data set i'm going to say the actual awarding that they got was 140 so let's say that's going to be the same all the way i could do an f4 thing let's do an f4 thing let's do this and make it absolute and say f4 on the keyboard dollar sign before the b and the seven so i could just copy that down just to practice our excel skills we're going to grab that fill handle and grab it and drag it on down so then the max though is 80 which i can't really pull from this cell so that's why i think it's good to break that out down below and say well the max per person is 80 and that's the same all the way across i'm going to say equals to 80 and again i'm going to copy that or absolutize it freeze in the cells f4 dollar sign before the b and the 13. you only need a mixed reference but an absolute is kind of the easiest thing to do so i'm going to say okay and then i'll just copy that down you could just double click on the fill handle which i just call a fill button at that case no one calls it a fill button but it kind of acts like a button in that i mean i feel like it's a button when you're doing it that way so then i'm going to take the lesser of these two for each one of them which would be of course 80 80 thousand so, but I want to use the min function in Excel to do that. So equals to M I N the min function, the lesser of the two brackets, just like the sum, but instead of S U M there's an M I N for the men. And then we'll select those two and that's it. It's just going to take the 80,000 you would expect, right? You would expect it to take the 80,000. So then there it is. I'm just going to copy that down and that'll copy the relative cells over. So I'm going to copy that down and it's not copying that 80. It's doing the men there and it's doing the men there. So we took the men of those things. We can have our totals. Let's put our totals down below and use our trusty sum function equals the S U M sum it up. And then we're going to put a bracket up arrow once holding down shift, selecting those. We could do some copying and pasting this time. Let's copy that one this time. I'm going to go control C doing all keyboard right arrow holding shift down go to the right and then control v pasting it fancily and that of course paste the sum function if i double click on them let's put an underline right here we'll say home tab font underline so we've got the actual was 420 but we're capping each one of them at 80 so that would be a cap of the 240 for the max if they all hit the max and they did all hit the max therefore we have the 240 so now we're going to say that there's also a max per accident though so there's a max per accident for injury and that happens to be the second number the 160 so 160 which we broke out down here 160 let's put a underline there underline font group underline and this is going to be the insurance payout then insurance payment is going to be the min of these two then the min of those two then <laughs> equals the min uh, brackets of these two and then enter so that comes out to the 160 so let's put some brackets around this let's select this whole thing and we're going to go to the font group and bracket and border blue let's do a border blue thing so you could probably see that like you could probably say i didn't need to do this whole thing to figure that because i can see that 140 140 and 140 is going to be greater than the 160 cap here and you can kind of visualize that so you can get a good visual feel for it 
but it can get a little bit complex when you start to think about it. So it's it's nice to have a table and it's it's useful to kind of be able to put these into a logical table because now if you were to adjust things and it would be even better if I put these three people out in a table on the left hand side and drew them from the table. So if I was to say, for example, that I'm going to draw my data from from person person one person person two and person three and say that say that we got then the three amounts which were 140 140,000 140,000 and equals the one above it and if I draw this data from that data source this comes from here this comes from here this comes from here then it might be a little bit easier for us again to change the data what if this was different right what if person two was something like 60,000 that they were awarded instead of the 140 let's say let's say it was 60,000 and let's say the last one was 30,000 well then this top one would have been at the 140 that they were awarded maxed out at the 80,000 it was capped so it took the lesser of took the 80 this next one the actual amount was less than the the cap of the 80,000 therefore the min function took the lesser of it's not going to be at the cap it's going to be the 60 and then this last one was at the 20,000 or 30,000 which is less than the cap of 80,000 so they got the 30,000 we add that up to 100 uh, 170,000 and that then is still limited by the amount per person of the 160 and therefore we took the difference of the 160. If we did that down a little bit more, if I took this and said this was like 5,000 on this last one, right now we've got the 140 capped at 80 at the 80. We've got the 60 versus the 80, so we took the lesser of the 60. We've got the 5,000, the 80, so we took the lesser of the 5,000. That adds up to the 145, which is less now than the total cap per person of the 160, so you get to the uh, 145 uh, in that instance so it's nice to have it's nice to be able to work through a table when even when you have a couple different variables because when you start to put them together it can it can get fairly complex uh, fairly quickly and if you're running different scenarios and what ifs what if could happens then it gets a little complex so let's bring it back up to the original uh, 140 and 140 i'll make this blue and border two so it's part of our table, blue and bordered, there it is.